guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys an update on Donut. So, I've already done a few updates on Donut, but I figured I might as well do another one because another issue popped up. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my rat Donut here, she had three memory tumors removed about a month and a week ago. Then about, I want to say a week and a half ago, or maybe two weeks ago at this point, she developed this aroma, which is a fluid-filled pouch. Basically, what happens is that when you remove tissue from the body, the body doesn't like that empty space and it tends to fill with fluid. Um, when this happens, you can't really drain it because if you do, then it will just fill back up with fluid. So it's kind of a situation where you just have to wait it out and let it dissipate. Anyways, I was lucky with Donut here because she actually did end up having this aroma dissipate really quickly. You can see it was actually right here and there is nothing, <laughs> there is nothing left. I'm sorry, Donut. The others want your treat. But yeah, there is nothing left there. It all dissipated and she she's doing completely fine. Well, about a day after I filmed that video, I noticed another problem, which is that Donut had developed a lump right here. Now, right now, this doesn't look like much because it's almost healed, but when I found it, it kind of felt like a mammary tumor, and I was kind of freaked out by that because, well, Donut just had three of them removed like a month ago. I was hoping I'd get a few months before another popped up. Anyways, we got lucky again because it wasn't a mammary tumor, but rather an abscess, uh, and I mentioned before in my prior video on Donut Seroma that abscesses in rats are typically filled with this really hard, cheesy pus. I know it's not a great image, but basically it tends to feel very solid, uh, so I I probably should have suspected an abscess, but just because of how mobile it was, I was able to move it around, uh, and the position it was in, I really thought, okay, we're dealing with another mammary tumor. So definitely not something that I wanted to find, and I was actually pretty happy when I saw that it had opened up, uh, as abscesses tend to do. Now, because I didn't know it was an abscess before, I didn't do anything to treat it. You can do warm compresses on abscesses, and that tends to help them open up, and then after that, you can flush the pus out, uh, and you just have to continue doing this over the entire time that it's healing pretty much because the thing with abscesses is that they are a pretty much enclosed pocket of infection uh, so you can't use oral antibiotics super effectively sometimes your rat will be put on oral antibiotics and also antibiotic drops if the abscess is particularly concerning or large sometimes it has to be surgically removed if it's really large or lanced if they can often lancing is difficult because again the pus in rats abscesses tends to be pretty cheesy and hard uh, but anyways, Donut's abscess was quite small and it opened up without any sort of interference on my part. Uh, and on top of that, she ended up cleaning out a good portion of it before I even got to it. So thank you, Donut, for taking care of some of the gross part. Uh, by the way, abscesses do smell really nasty. They kind of smell like something dead in my opinion. Thankfully, it was a lot better than a memory tumor because at least an abscess can be resolved on its own pretty quickly, usually that is. And a memory tumor, of course, is not going to resolve. It's going to continue to grow unless you get it removed. Anyways, after the abscess opened up and I noticed it, I went ahead and started to flush the wound with some warm water combined with this solution that the vets gave me. It's this blue solution. I will have it on screen and I will also have the name on screen. I just can't remember it right now. But anyways, it's sort of like a disinfectant uh, and it's just really good for helping abscesses heal. So that's pretty much what I cleaned out her wound with twice a day. And once it started to really heal, like at its current point, you can't really flush this anymore it's quite literally healed it's just a little pink at the top uh, and you can see there's no pus or anything in there so she doesn't need to be flushed anymore she didn't need to go on antibiotics or anything like that she really wasn't bothered by it and it resolved really quickly on its own with just a little help for me but honestly because of its small size and how quickly it was resolving I think it probably would have resolved regardless of what I did anyways I'm very happy to see that donuts abscess has resolved and I'm very glad that it wasn't a mammary tumor uh, and I will be showing you some clips I got of the abscess as it was healing up uh, over the last few days. It's only been about, I want to say, five or six days since I saw the lump, uh, so she is doing quite well, and this should heal up completely in the next day or two. So yeah, I am pretty happy with what this ended up being. Obviously, I didn't want Donut to get an abscess or any sort of lump, but I am glad that at least this lump was something manageable. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just figured since I talked about this aroma, I might as well talk about Donut's abscess as well. Hopefully, this is the last video in the Donut Tumor Removal series. I'm probably going to just playlist these all together because I figured, well, maybe it will help someone out. 
Uh, but anyways, I am just going to go ahead and end this video here. Thankfully, Donut is doing really well and she is back to all her normal activities and she just needs to finish regrowing the very last bit of fur. So yeah, everything's going pretty well and I pretty much just wanted to talk about the abscess bit. So now that that's over, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Okay guys, so I will see you guys later and I really hope that Miss Donut here stays healthy because I have had enough health scares from her. <laughs> anyways, that's it for this video. So I will see you guys later. Bye!